John, I know you're a Liverpool lad. You spent a long time at uh, Pratt Park. What's your best memory from down, down there? Well, he had a, a wonderful years, to be fair. Um, I think just the people, the way they take to you. Uh, they love the football and it shows in the way they support the team. And uh, I, I made some great friends there. And the whole place in general uh, on the seaside is fantastic. Which of your teammates from that era do you rate? Oh, uh, obviously it was Paul Walsh was there. He came down. Uh, Walsh, obviously knew from Liverpool. He was there. Kit Simons and Andy Orford, a formidable centre-half partnership. They were unstoppable for two, three seasons. Obviously Guy Whittingham scored a lot of goals. Um, but I think Alan McLaughlin, unsung hero as well. He scored the, the winner for Ireland to qualify for the World Cup as well. Great midfielder, scored some great goals. So I think in general, them uh, three or four that I've mentioned. Yeah, do you still follow them today? Oh, I, I do. It, um, it's probably second, maybe second team I look for, and then maybe Oxford as well. But it's obviously Liverpool, Pompey, and Oxford. What do you think uh, about Portsmouth this season? Yeah, I think stuttering. You know, stuttering start, stop, start. I think uh, obviously surpassed everyone's expectations. Last year, and I think uh, they're suffering a bit now. Everybody expected them to be, you know, mid-table, maybe top six, seven. But I think uh, Harry, obviously Harry Redknapp's a shrewd manager, and I think once uh, he, he does get the, you know, the formation right, obviously with Crouching, um, Defoe there, they, they'll score your goal. So once you get that blend of and the way he wants to play, I'm sure they'll uh, push up and finish, obviously, in the top eight again. Talking about Portsmouth as a city, can you give us some recommendations for visitors to the place? Oh, definitely. I mean, obviously, it's a big naval yard. There's so many naval bases there, Tamara, uh, Daska. I mean, there's, there's a three or four to mention, but the whole place at the seaside, uh, there's old Portsmouth. Beautiful place, beautiful place down there. Um, HMS Hark Royals Park down there, so you can go and visit that. I mean, I've had a few memorable nights in there, being invited to there, drinking the all um, treatle cider. It, it is like rocket fuel, but I mean, as a place, Portsmouth, there's loads of places to go there, and you can always jump on the ferry or the hovercraft to the Isle of Wight. So you can recommend it? Oh, definitely. <laughs>